Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami from Cami's Craftiques. I'd like to start off this video like I always do by thanking all of you who have subscribed to my channel, who has watched any of my videos, who's given me the thumbs up, the hearts, the comments, and any information of things that I really don't know much about. Um, I thank you all. For those of you who are new, my name is Cami. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and please give me a thumbs up. Um, so I, for those of you who are new, I, I have a full-time job and I own a part-time business. My part-time business is flipping things and making a profit. So I do like to do these thrift hauls, these thrift uh, thread up you know, rescue box hauls, and I love to share them with you. I also like doing my local thrift hauls and sharing, and I do also do what sold for me videos. So this way you could get an idea of how much I'm making on each item that I sell, what's selling for me. Because what sells for me might not sell for the next person, and the same thing with thrifting. I have to thrift and find things that, you know, are in my local market, you know, and then from there, you know, sometimes I have a small profit, sometimes I have a large profit, you know, it all depends. But anyway, let's get on with this box. It is a designer DIY box. Um, my last box, it was my first box, my last box that I had was super amazing so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I have another amazing one so this is the size box so that's my puppies they're playing so you will hear them you'll hear my Sadie my cat but that was my puppies so I did you know cut cut the, the tape because I don't want to keep anything around with the puppies god forbid you know they get you know hold of my razor blade so we're gonna pop it open this is how it looks like so let me tell you when i thrifted this okay i thrifted this on july 27th i paid 140 dollars i did not pay shipping on this i don't pay shipping um, so yeah, I do pay tax, so it was about $10 tax, so it's a, it is a 10-piece designer rescue, no, I'm sorry, a 7-piece designer rescue. Okay, so let's see what I have here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first look in the box, and let's see. I'm gonna take the yellow one out first. Okay, so this is a purple label by Ralph Lauren Collection. Um, it's a size four, and it's a strapless dress. Um, to me, Ralph Lauren, I wouldn't really think in my in these boxes but okay so it does have like the padding so you know you don't have to worry you go you're not gonna have to wear a bra with this um, it has a side zipper okay this is how it looks all inside Oh, so it has like that boning and everything, that wire boning inside. Okay, let's zip it up. We know the zipper works. Okay. I don't know if I see a little spot. Nope, it was a piece of fuzz. Okay, so it's a short little strapless mini dress. I'm sure it will sell. I do think I see a little bit of a stain. 
I don't know if my camera is going to get it. Um, where was it? Yeah, there it is right there. I don't know if you could see it. It's very small. I'm going to see if I could get that out. Um, so it has like a, a sim, kind of like a rounded M. It has a little slit over there, side slit. You know, it's cute. It's, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's cute. So that's that. Let me see what it's made out of. If we have a tag that says what it's made out of. Uh, just says Ralph Lauren Women's Wear. Um, 557th Avenue, New York. Uh, made in Italy. Size 4. Maybe this is... Maybe this goes for higher than what I think. So we'll see. It, uh, I'll Google it. I'll find out. We'll see. So I got another dress. This is really pretty. This would be so pretty to wear to a... Uh, no, it has the appliques are coming off. So you know what? This is definitely a DIY type of dress. I see a lot of the applique coming off. Let me see who the designer was. It was Mar Marchesa, Marchisa Note. I don't know if I'm butchering that name. It was a size 10. So I'm going to list it. Oh, yeah, look. It's torn over there so I'm gonna try to list it maybe as a DIY Whew. okay maybe my box will get better okay I got a lot of shoes here so I got a pair of Farangamo Salvatore Farangamo they're just like a loafer I do see like a lot of toe scuffs. I'll try to clean them up. I know I'm not going to get much. I've sold them before. Shoes like this, I find at my Goodwill for like six or seven dollars. But, you know, it's it's a thrift, you know, it's a rescue box, so that's what it is. Let me see if I can find a sign, a, a size rather. They are super soft. Um, maybe I can clean them up somewhat. Uh, okay, here we go. They're a size seven and a half. Okay, and there is wear on them. That is, let me pull them both up. So you can see that. And this is the wear. There's the heel. Okay, what they do have going for them though, is this leather is super, super soft. I'm a size seven. If I can't get much for these, let's see if they fit. Actually, they feel more like a seven than um, a seven and a half. If I can't get much for these, I may just clean them up and use them myself. We'll see. Okay. So these are a pair of Todd's. Excuse me, those are my dogs in the background, so hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that. My puppies were going a little crazy. And there's one in the background. <laughs> and here's one over here. So anyway, I left off. Here's a pair of Todd's. So I know, you know... These are a little higher price, not like super, like even these, I don't think these should be in a designer box. In all honesty, again, another shoe that I can pick up at my Goodwill. Um, yeah, so they have leather, they have the suede on the toe. I want to say it's probably about a three inch heel. There's some wear to them. Whoops. 
there is somewhere, not too bad. Let's see if I can see a size. Um, another size seven and a half. Okay. So to me, this isn't the best designer bag box rather, but let's keep going and let's see. Jimmy Choo. Now this I would expect to see. These are really super cute. Uh, they do have some issues on the heel. You can see the pulling of the leather away. And on that one, um, they have been worn for sure. I want to say though, they're a size 37. So I believe that's a size seven. I'm pretty sure. Whoop, whoop. So we'll see what I can get on there. Okay, so there are some scuffs. But, okay, I still feel they're better than the other two pair. So that looks like that's it on the shoes. Hold on. Okay, so I'm really, truly sorry. My puppies are definitely a handful. As you see, there's one sitting right behind me on my Boston Terrier blanket. But they were getting a little unruly. I have a senior Boston. She is 12, and they were just playing and getting all in her face, and she did not want it. So I had to, you know, tell them to chill out a little bit. So the next item... I'm happy to have because I think this is going to be the best item in the box um, is a Chloe sunglasses and we all know how I love sunglasses but to make my money I'm going to probably have to sell these but oh I love them so they're not really scratched up. Made in Italy. There's the Chloe. I don't know if you could see that. You can see it on each side. But these are really nice. These are really nice sunglasses. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping my comps are great on these. Because I don't know. So the next item, oh, I see an issue already, is staining on this leather bag in the front and the back. Well, oh, really bad in the back. So that's why it was in this box. Maybe I could clean it up. I don't know. Um, there is some corner wear. Okay, let me see who this is. LP. Lauro Piana. Okay, I'm not sure about the brand. Um, it's Italian. It's a heavy, heavy bag. This is the inside of it. So it's definitely like, so it's your hobo style bag. It's a real nice bag. You can feel the quality of it. Um, the handles, they, they feel good. Like, they'll feel good on your shoulder. I just hope whatever all that is, I hope I can get it out. So, let's count this. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna count. We have this one bag. We have the prize to me of the box, the Chloe sunglasses. That's two. Okay, we have the pair of Todd's. We have the Jimmy Choo. 
which I'm excited for, but there is a little heel damage. But I know when I worked in the city, I used to be able to bring these to a shoemaker and he would like have some kind of tool and pull down the leather and repair it. So maybe someone could do that. So I think these are cute too. Okay, let's put that there. Um, the next pair were the Salvatore Farangamo loafers. Again, I'll do some cleaning up on them and see what I can get. Then definitely this DIY dress where the applique is just coming off all over. And then we have the Ralph Lauren uh, strapless dress. So I forgot to, I stopped counting. So I had the one, two, three, four, five, six. I had the seven items. Um, this box is just okay. I definitely will have to do my research on making my money back. I feel like those sunglasses may, may do it, but I don't know for sure. Um, I will keep you posted on that um, until I can score another DIY designer box. Okay, so again, if you are here to the end, thank you so very much. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.